Hi everybody, good evening. Ifi Mbago here once again. Um, so today basically I'm going to talk about something that I've been going on and on about for the past week. And basically I'm going to tell you today how, well I'm going to choose just two. I'm going to tell you the top two ways that you can attract customers and you can attract clients. Hi, oh before I go in, Please, when you hop on, say hello. Hi, Davis. <laughs> you already know to put in the one. <laughs> you caught me live today. As you hop on, please go to the comment section and say hi. Let me know where you're watching me from. And if you're watching the replay, just put in a two. So today, I'm basically going to talk about how you can increase sales. If you have a business, definitely you want to get more sales. You want more customers. You want more clients for your product or whatever service you have to offer. So today, I'm going to tell you the top two ways that you can increase sales by attracting customers and clients that already want what you have to offer. They already want it. So you're not going around chasing, you're attracting them to you. And basically, why part of the reason I'm doing this uh, Facebook Live on Attraction Marketing, if, if you've been watching my Facebook Lives and updates for the past couple of days, you know that I'm, I'm about to start an Attraction Marketing Bootcamp, which is totally free. It's starting on Monday, and I'm so pumped and I'm so excited because I've been mapping out what I'm going to teach and show, and it's mind-blowing. And if you want to be a part of that, it's starting on Monday, so the doors will be shut on the 27th. You go to the comment section below. I'll drop a link. Go to the link and hop on. I'll see you on the other side. So today, one of the two, the top two ways that you can attract customers, you can increase your sales by attracting clients and customers. The first thing you have to do is, number one, you have to be clear. You have to be crystal clear on who your target market is. You have to understand who your audience is. So let me give you an example. Imagine you have a product, now you have a service. Or you have a product, let me use an example of a product. Let me say you let me say you're a plumber or you're in a health and wellness company or something. You have something that can help someone lose weight, you know. Then imagine not understanding that the people that need your product are the people searching for a way to lose weight. If you get what I mean, I'm just using this as an example for you to understand. So imagine you taking that your product that you have, which will help someone lose weight, and taking it into, let's say, a, me a mechanic shop. <clears throat> you take it into a mechanic shop and try and sell them your weight loss pr product or your weight loss when they are busy trying to find the the engine or put i'm not mechanical i'm just trying to cook up a scenario here for you to get the picture you know they are busy trying to put the engine together put the diesel put the fuel make sure there's enough oil and you're there with your weight loss product that's that's wrong in the sense that that is not your target market. So the first step you have to do is to you have to understand who your audience is. Because I tell you, if you don't understand your target market, you can spend days, weeks, months working very hard. You know, doing everything you need to do. You ask yourself, wow, but why isn't this working? It's not working because you You've not sat down probably with someone, which is what we're going to talk about in the boot camp. I'm going to break it down, how you're going to identify who your target market is. I'll break it down step by step. You haven't sat down to understand and pinpoint and identify that target market because it's only then that you'll be able to convey messages that can attract them to you, which takes me to the second step. So the second step is, number one, you have to understand their challenges. You have to understand their pain. You have to understand the questions they have. You know, so once you're clear on your target market, once you're totally crystal clear on your target market, then you have to ask yourself a question. I now know who they are. What challenges do they have? You know, what questions are they asking? What do they undergo on a daily basis that they're like giving them like headache? You know, 
and in my boot camp in my five day boot camp which i'm going to drop the link in the comment section i am going to show you how you can actually find those questions that they are searching for i'm going to show you how you can actually know what pain they have with facts so once you understand their challenges and once you understand their pain what you now need to do is another step in the process which i'm going to break down in my boot camp so if this is of interest to you if you want to find out all these processes my boot camp is free and it's starting on monday all you need to do is to go to the link below and hop on my boot camp and i'll be on the other side to say hello to you and if you've gotten any kind of value from this whatsoever please feel free to share Remember, there's love in sharing, like, love, and just let me know you watched it. Kind of like encourages me and makes me know that I'm not blabbing, that someone is actually getting some sort of value from what I'm doing. So that's my Facebook live for today. So have an amazing day and see you on my next live. Bye.